Here's my top three week six defensive streamers, starting at the top with the Jags. We got back-to-back weeks where they are now averaging over 12 fantasy points per game. Granted, that was in London, where the Jags are more fired up than any team, but they really stifled that Bills offense. Call it jet lag. Uh, They finally woke up in the fourth, but they really played that Bills team really tough. Now they get an indie team that just lost Anthony Richardson. Yeah, Minshew, he's he's as good of a backup as you can ask for. He's never been a huge turnover guy throughout his career, but the Jags have a top five run defense. That's what the Colts want to do. And that's what the Jags stop the most. He's tied. They're also tied right now. Second in terms of 11 takeaways in the NFL league leading six fumbles forced. They could maybe pop a couple out of Zach Moss or Jonathan Taylor getting his legs under him. We've seen uh, Gardner Minshew. He has had fumbling concerns in the past two. Definitely a solid matchup for your Jags. Only 16% rostered check for them. I might even like the Falcons more, though. I flipped these guys back and forth. They're seventh right now in the league in terms of total yardage defense, uh, and tenth in terms of points allowed. So a really solid defense holding opponents right now to just 19.2 points per game. The big thing is that they haven't amassed too many big plays because their offense just controls the clock, bleeds it out, and they're just not that much of an opportunistic defense. However, you have the commanders coming in here, Sam Howell, only Daniel Jones has been sacked more than Sam Howell so far. Washington is also top three in turnovers, top three in sacks total. And now uh, that has led to the top four in terms of points allowed to defense. Despite being a decent scoring offense here, the Commanders, they are a great matchup for fantasy defenses and a good spot for this Falcons team to finally have one of those big blow-up type of games. Last on the list, and certainly out there in your league, are the Las Vegas Raiders. And this doesn't go, it's not going to be a compliment to them. I do not think they're a great defense, although they did just have three interceptions on Jordan Love, two sacks, a 12-point day. (laughs) Max Crosby is an absolute animal. Love the guy. They're still not a great defense. However, they are facing the New England Patriots. (laughs) Oh, It's going to become whoever's facing the Patriots, whoever's facing the Giants, light them up and put them on, on fire. We now have the Patriots scoring dead last in points, 11 per game. They lead the AFC and fantasy points surrendered to DF defenses right now. Top three in that metric as well. You've got to start any team against the Pats who have now given up 51 points to defenses in the last two weeks. 10 turnovers for the Pats on the year. Six interceptions from Matt Jones, second in the NFL. There, they have only scored three points across their last two games, have not scored in the last 10 quarters. It is such a gross offense, such a terrible team. I'm a Pats fan, and I want to throw up every time I put the game on. So Raiders and whoever else is facing the Patriots the rest of the year is a must start. And that's that's all I got to say about the Patriots. Oh, God. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.